Hello, and welcome to this session on analysis-driven design. In this demo, we will show how MathCAD Prime can be used to derive geometries and constraints in design and verify requirements through analysis that can be quickly modified for iterative design and reuse. MathCAD Prime allows scientists and engineers to focus on their calculations while automatically creating a live design document. This environment provides a way to easily perform, document, and share analysis and results. MathCAD's intuitive interface combines standard math notation, text, and graphics in a presentable format which enables knowledge capture, reuse, and design verification for improved product quality. MathCAD Prime can also easily integrate with other commonly used engineering applications. In this demo, we will show the integration between MathCAD Prime 2.0 and CreoPymetric 1.0. This integration enables predictive engineering, where we can use MathCAD Prime to predict the behavior of designs early in the product development process. This helps us reduce the number of design iterations required, thereby reducing production time and costs, and at the same time, improving quality. We use three examples to show MathCAD Prime in the design of a motorcycle. The first two examples will use the Creo MathCAD integration to study the handling in the motorcycle. The third example models the motorcycle dynamics as it traverses through various road terrains. We start by opening the motorcycle assembly. For this first example, we focus on the front wheel assembly. We wish to calculate the trail, which affects the steering and handling in any bicycle or motorcycle. This trail value is dependent on the rig angle, the fork offset, and also the wheel radius. We have already made a MathCAD worksheet that calculates the trail. We can embed relevant header and footer information right into this worksheet. Next, we present the variable definitions and equations that are required for the trail calculation. Note the way in which MathCAD Prime represents math in a way that is easy for collaborators to follow and understand. Units Intelligence allows MathCAD to keep track of units in definitions and calculations, and also provides easy conversion between different metric systems. We have also included a simple picture showing the rake angle, fork offset, and trail dimensions. We are now ready to integrate the front wheel assembly with this MathCAD worksheet. We start by defining three parameters in Creo which will be used to link to dimensions between MathCAD and Creo. We insert a MathCAD prime analysis right into this Creo assembly. After selecting the worksheet to link, Creo will launch MathCAD in the background. In this case, we're going to pass the parameters from Creo into MathCAD and then use MathCAD to calculate the trail for this particular geometry. We use the MathCAD prime analysis feature definition box to pick which parameters in Creo we want to pass. In this case, we pick the rake angle, the fork offset, and the wheel radius. These parameters are linked to the corresponding variables in MathCAD. This feature can now be added to the assembly. If we need to recalculate the trail for new or updated geometries, we can just change the parameters inside Creo and relaunch the MathCAD Prime Analysis feature. We can now go back into MathCAD, take a look at the worksheet, and see what the calculated trail for this particular setup is. We have a rake angle of 22 degrees, a fork offset of 28 millimeters, and a wheel radius of 29 centimeters. The resulting trail is 87 millimeters. Now let's move on to the fork of the front wheel assembly. Specifically, we want to look at the front suspension and determine how to design the spring. We dig down into the assembly until we reach the spring part. The annotations show us the dimensions in the spring that we can modify. Again, we will use MathCAD to help us with the design of the spring. In this case, we've already added a MathCAD Prime Analysis feature into this part, so we can just edit the definition to open up the linked MathCAD worksheet. Like the previous worksheet, we can put background information and reference pictures together with variable definitions and equations for a comprehensive document that is easy to follow. In this worksheet, we can modify the number of coils, the coil diameter, and the wire diameter to calculate the spring constant. If the spring constant meets our requirements, we can take these new values and pass them to Creo. Creo will take these new values and update the geometries accordingly. Every, ge every generation of the part will reflect these updates. If new requirements come in, we can make the changes inside the MathCAD worksheet, update the analysis feature inside Creo, and save the trouble of manually defining each affected dimension in Creo. This is how we can use MathCAD to drive design. Let's move on to the third and last example. Here we have a MathCAD worksheet that will model the motorcycle displacement and velocity as it rides over various road terrains. We first define the geometries of the motorcycle. We simplify the suspension of the motorcycle into two systems for the front and rear. Each system consists of a spring and damper. We define the values for each of these components. 
Let's see what happens to the motorcycle as it rides over a speed bump. We model the speed bump and resulting displacements and velocities with sine and cosine functions. Using system modeling, we can represent this motorcycle with state space, with states co corresponding to the vertical displacements at the front and rear wheels, the vertical velocity at the center of mass, and the angular velocity above the center of mass. Following the state space approach, we define our A and B matrices, also referred to as the state and input matrices. We use the state space function available in MathCAD to solve for the states. We can take a look at the results by plotting the various states against time. Here we see how the front and rear wheels displace as it rides over the speed bump, as well as how the center of mass translates and rotates. To take this problem one step further, suppose that we wish to specify a maximum velocity experienced by the motorcycle and rider as it goes over a speed bump. Perhaps the current value is too high and we wish to adjust the damper values accordingly to meet our new requirements. Instead of using a trial and error method to guess values that may work, we can use the MathCAD solver to help us optimize our suspension design. We first define a function that will calculate the maximum velocity felt by the rider. We can see how this maximum velocity value changes as a function of the front and rear damper values. We can do this with a 3D plot or with a contour plot. In this case, the contour plot gives us a way to look carefully at a specific region of interest. Finally, we use the solve block to specify what we want the maximum velocity to be, as well as any other constraints that we might want to apply to the problem. MathCAD returns new values for the front and rear dampers. We, we can apply these values and see how the suspension behaves under these new design parameters. Using MathCAD, we can create documents showing our calculations and analyses in a way that is easy to understand for others. We also provide a way to make changes for product redesign or simple modifications. The integration with Creo provides a convenient way to both drive CAD models from analyses or verify designs made in Creo. We hope you enjoyed this demo and thank you for your time and attention.